Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent reigning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent reigning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord, God, oh, many potent reigning, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord, God, oh, many potent reigning, hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I say, how I love to call in your name every day, every day. Your name is the same. How I love. Your name is the same, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I say, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go, never let you go, taking me from the merry clay. You set my feet upon the rock. I know I love you, I love you, I need you, I need you. Do my war, do my war before I will never let you go. Everlasting Father, our rock, our savior, our light and our salvation, our everything. Father, this hour we bless you, we worship you, we exalt your holy name. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your grace that is sufficient for us. We thank you, Lord, for giving us, oh God, the opportunity to see the beauty and the light of another time, oh God, in your presence. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. If all the strings of ears on our heads were to be tongues, they are not enough to praise you. Father, Lord, we praise you. We praise you. We magnify your holy name. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, we surrender all before you. You are the merciful God. We know that we have sinned against you only, O Lord. Father, we pray for mercy. Have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Upon every soul that are here this hour, Father, have mercy. Upon our families, upon us, upon our husbands, upon our wives, upon our children, Father, Lord, we pray for mercy. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, this hour we need you, O Lord. We need your presence. We need your power. We need the fullness of your strength, O God. Father, and pour your spirit upon us in the name of Jesus. Pour your power, pour your spirit, pour your fire upon us, upon this platform in the name of Jesus. Lord, by the authority and power in your name, we come against every distraction. We come against every strange powers. We come against every rulers of darkness. We come against every wicked authors. We come against every network of the wicked. We dismantle and we scatter them by the authority in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. The of Jesus. Whatever the enemies are desiring, wherever the enemies are gathering, Holy Ghost, release your thunder, release your thunder, release your thunder, release your thunder and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Enemies of your peace, enemies of your family, enemies of your joy, enemies of your progress. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Holy Ghost, destroy them. Father, you are the man of war. You are the man of war. You are the man of war. Father, Lord, we have no power of our own. Tonight, oh God, appear, 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 appear in every ancient battles in our lives. Oh God, appear appear and destroy them. Appear, O oh Lord, and destroy them in every carryover battles, battles that we inherited, battles in, my, in, my, in our father's houses, in our mother's houses, in our in houses. O oh Lord, my father, appear tonight as the man of war and defeat the powers behind those battles. Defeat them, O oh Lord. Defeat them, O oh Lord. Defeat them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, any power 
call the wicked powers in our foundation. Any power, call the local spirit. Any power, call the Ogbanje spirit. Call the money spirit. Call the familiar spirit power. Wherever they are, and they are troubling us. Oh Lord, tonight, oh Lord, tonight, as you appear in the battle uh, between David and Goliath, oh Lord, tonight appear. Oh Lord, tonight appear. Appear, oh Lord. Appear, oh Lord. Appear, oh Lord. We have no power for all. That's why we are calling upon you tonight. Appear, tonight appear, tonight appear, tonight appear, and disgrace those powers, disgrace our enemies, disgrace our enemies. In the name of Jesus, whatever the devil is using to deny us of our salvation, whatever the devil is using to attack us from being saved, whatever the devil is doing to take our attention and focus away from God, Holy Ghost fire, destroy them, Holy Ghost fire, destroy them in the name of Jesus, Father you are God of light, let your light shine today over our homes, over our lives up upon our foundation, let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine and let darkness disappear, let darkness disappear, let the works of flesh disappear let every manipulation of the devil disappear, 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 disappear. Let the spirit of failure, let the spirit of error, let the spirit of untimely death, let them disappear, let them disappear. In the name of Jesus, we cover this platform, we cover every souls, we cover our families with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lord Jesus, I surrender myself before you. I'm a man of unclean lips. I'm a mere mortal. Father, by your grace and mercy, break me down, O oh Lord. Remove me, O oh Lord, to suit your purpose. And Lord, speak your word to me and don't let me speak of my own. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to another time in the presence of our Maker. And this moment, the Lord has given us a very powerful word that will make you and I to conquer the greatest enemy of man, which is fear. And what the Lord has given us tonight is titled, The Strength of My Life. The Strength of My Life. But before we continue, I want you to open your Bible to John chapter 14. John chapter 14, verse 27, our memory verse. John chapter 14, verse 27. The Bible says, peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Peace of God that is not of world. The Lord will release upon you, upon your family, upon your home, upon everyone that, is, that are connected to you. Their lives will be at peace in the name of Jesus. The enemies will not take away the peace of your home in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are looking onto, whatever you are desiring in your heart, and whatever will make your life to become peaceful, the Lord God Almighty, the Creator, will release them upon you in the name of Jesus. Open with me to Psalm 27, verse 1. You see, we are looking today at what is titled, The Strength of My Life. The Strength of of my life. Every life we need strength. Every one of us will need strength either to fight or to remain standing. We need strength either to fight or to remain standing. And depending on your strength, if you are very strong, you stand the chance of winning battles. And if you are not strong, or if one is not strong, that one stand the chance of losing battles. I pray this hour that the strength to win battles of life, the strength and the power to defeat the enemies that are stronger than your parents, receive that strength now in the name of Jesus. The strength of God will come upon you. The power of God will come upon you. God Almighty will be the strength of your life. And God will appear in every battles that are confronting you. God will be your strength, will appear and will defeat the powers behind those battles in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout this before we read that passage. Say, oh God, my father, be the strength of my life in the name 
name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, my Father, be the strength of my life. Be the strength of my life. Be the strength of my home. Jesus Christ, be my strength. Be my strength. Be my strength. Be the strength of my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, be my strength. Father, be my strength. Father, be my strength. Be my strength, oh Lord. Be the strength of my life. Be the strength of my home. Be my strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If the Lord is your strength, then the enemies cannot intimidate you. The enemies cannot harass you. The enemies cannot molest your life. I want you to shout it again. Say, power of God to confront and to disgrace my enemies. Power of God to confront and to disgrace my enemies overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Power of God to confront and to disgrace my enemies. Overshadow my life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Power of God to confront and to disgrace our enemies. Come up. Let the power of God come upon us. 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 In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say powers challenging God in my life. Powers challenging God in my life. Oh, God, appear and swallow them up. Powers challenging God in my life, in my family, in my home. Oh, God, appear, swallow them up. Oh, God, appear, swallow them up. Oh, God, appear, swallow them up. Any power challenging God in my life, in my ministry, in my calling. Oh, God, appear, swallow them up. Any power challenging God in my place of work, challenging God in my father's house, challenging God in my mother's house. Any power challenging God around me. Oh, God, appear, swallow them up. Oh, God, appear, swallow them up. Oh, God, appear. Swallow them up. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Psalm 27, verse 1. Psalm 27, verse 1. The Bible says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is the strength of my life. I want you to read it. Memorize it and personalize it. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? If the Lord is the strength of your life, you will conquer the greatest enemy of man, which is fear. Devil is the originator of all problems. But the devil has one weapon, which when it's set into the life of any man, it takes away the peace of that man. And that weapon is fear. And the Bible says, if the Lord is the strength of your life, you will overcome fear. Fear of what shall I eat? What shall I drink? Fear of the attack of the wicked? Fear of unknown. When the Lord is your strength, you have victory over fear. I want you to pray. I want you to tell God tonight, I don't know whether the Lord is your strength. I don't know whether you are making man to be your strength. But the Bible says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Say, oh Lord, my father, enter me and turn me to a warrior. Oh Lord, my Father, enter me and turn me to a warrior. Father, enter my life. Turn me to a warrior. 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 In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Bible says our Lord is the man of war. So when the Lord is your strength, that Lord will prepare your life for uncommon victory and uncommon challenges. When the Lord is your strength, the Lord will go before you and make every crooked way before you straight. When the Lord is your strength, you will appear when others are afraid. When the Lord is your strength, you will do great and mighty exploit for God and you will not be tired. When the Lord is your strength, you will break the weapons of the devil. And the weapons of the wicked, you will break it to pieces. When the Lord is your strength, you will mount up with wings like the eagle. And you will soar 
through the storms of life and nothing will be able to stop you when the Lord is your strength. You will appear before kings and the kings will bow before you. When the Lord is your strength, you will defeat all the ancient powers and the ancient idols of your father's house. Why? Because the Lord will be the one fighting the battle through you. I pray this hour that the Lord God Almighty will be the strength of your life in the name of Jesus. Some people are making their friends to be their strength. To some people, it's alcohol. To some people, it's their wives. To some people, it's their husbands. To some people, it's their pastors. To some people, it's their job. To some people, it's the money that they have. Whenever they see money in their account, they believe they have strength. But all this cannot save them in the days of battles. What can save you in the days of battle is the strength of God. If God is on your, if God is by your side, if God is your strength, you will not be afraid of the wicked. Let us open our Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 17. Let's see the account of someone that made the Lord his strength. When the Lord is your strength, the voice or the word that will be coming out of your mouth will be voice and words of authority and power. When the Lord is your strength, you begin to speak authoritatively through the power of the Holy Ghost. When the Lord is your strength, you begin to pray dangerous prayers without being afraid. When the Lord is your strength, you begin to do some spiritual exercises that will destabilize the coven of darkness. Beloved, I pray this hour that the Lord will be our strength on this platform. The Lord will be our strength. The Lord will be our strength. The Lord is our strength. Whom shall we be afraid? We shall not be afraid in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's open our Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we'll read quickly from verse 8 to 11 and verse 45 to 51. 1 Samuel chapter 17, 1 Samuel 17 from verse 8 to 11, and from verse 45 to 51. The Bible says, And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battles in array? Am I not a Philistine, and ye servant of Saul? Chose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. Verse 9. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servant and serve us. Verse 10. And the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. The Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. And verse 11, when Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. This month the Lord has given to us as a month of peace. But when this Philistine Goliath appeared in the battle against Israel, because of the boasting of Goliath, the Bible says, when Saul and all Israel heard those words, the boasting of Goliath, they were dismayed and greatly afraid, meaning fear would take away the peace of any life. Whenever the enemies are coming towards a life, they come to terrify the life. They come to instill fear on that life. And when the life have received that fear, then the peace will disappear. I pray by the authority in the name of Jesus that every rage of the devil, every rage of the wicked, or every marching forward of the wicked towards your life to put fear upon you in order to take away your peace, those rage shall be consumed by fire, shall be consumed by fire, shall be consumed by fire, shall be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. In verse 45, this man called Goliath, he was boasting. He trusted in himself. He never allowed God. He, he never even knew God. 
it was even boasting and defiling the armies of Israel, defiling the armies of God. But a man came. The man that made the Lord his strength. When the Lord is your strength, you will not be afraid of the Goliath of your father's house. When the Lord is your strength, you will not be afraid of all the boasting powers around you. Those that boasting, oh, I will bury you, I will do this. You will not be afraid because it is not going to, you are not going to be the one to fight. It is God that will fight. Let's look at verse 45. Beloved, I hope you are getting the understanding of making God your strength. Because if you make God and your strength and God is your strength, if you can allow God to be the one that is controlling your life, you will sleep in peace because whenever the enemies are coming to you, that spirit of God will be woken up and will start fighting without even you knowing. In that verse 45, let's go. Verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. David came to this boaster, telling him that this boaster, you have come to me with sword, with spear, and with shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the Lord God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. David reminded him that he had defiled the armies of Israel. I pray this hour that the boldness to remind your enemies that they have crossed the red line, that power of God will come upon you in the name of Jesus. What Goliath did provoked heaven to disgrace him because it defiled the armies of Israel. It defiled God in the lives of the Israelites. Verse 46. This day will I... This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee, and take thy head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the hair, and to the white beast of the herd, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all the assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is of the Lord. And he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Philistines arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hastened and ran towards the army to meet the Philistines. And David put his hand in his bag and took hands, a stone and sling, and smote the Philistines in the forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the ground. So David, hear this, so David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone. And he smote the Philistine and drew him and slew him, but there was no sword in the hand of David. When the Lord is your strength, you will kill Goliath without a sword in your hands. That means there are certain things that you will do that will be foolishness to the outside world. You may be clapping your hands when the Lord is your strength. God can say to you, clap your hands. And the clap alone will be sending earthquake, will be sending terrifying noise, will be sending arrows, will be sending all kinds of calamities into the camp of your enemies. I pray this hour that the Spirit of God will move in you and your prayers tonight will disgrace every boasters around you in the name of Jesus. Verse 51. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistines and took his sword and drew it out of the shed. Therefore, and he slew him and cut off his head. Therein, and when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. When the Lord is your strength, every victory that God will give to you will make your enemies to run away. The victory that God gave to David, a man that made God his strength. That victory that God gave to him made all his enemies to bow before him. I pray this hour that you and your family and all of us as bodies of Christ 
we shall make the Lord our strength in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. I don't know whether the Lord is here to be your strength. Maybe you can be, maybe you are asking me, how can I make God my strength? Number one, to make God your strength, you must make God your friend. Before the Lord can be the strength of your life, you must make God your friend. And how do we make God our friend? You make God your friend by reading your Bible and observing what the Lord God Almighty is asking you to do. Number two, we must cultivate the habit of living a holy life. God is holy, and God will always dwell in vessels that are holy. Number three, we must obey every instructions given to us by God. Number four, we must always be ready to confront all the enemies of God. You and I are not supposed to be running away from God's enemy. We must be prepared at all times to confront the enemies of God. And lastly, we must be prayerful. Prayer addict. In the morning you pray, afternoon you pray, every day of your life you become a prayer addict. Your thoughts will be prayers. Your mind will be prayers. Everything about you will turn to prayer. What David did all the transactions that took place between David and Goliath were prophetic declarations called prayers. I don't know the problems you are passing through. I don't know what the enemies are throwing at you. But I give you this good news today. That today, if you can make the Lord the strength of your life, your enemies shall fall in the order of Goliath in the name of Jesus. Pray like this. Say, oh God, my Father, turn my weakness to strength in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, my Father, turn my weakness to strength. Turn my weakness to strength. Oh Lord God, my Father, turn our weaknesses to strength in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, turn my weakness to strength. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. There is a power. There is one supreme power in God that when that power is upon a life, that life can never be defeated. When the power of God is upon a life, and if that life is doing according to God's leading, that life cannot be defeated. You will pray for that power. Say, power of God to disgrace all the works of the devil. Enter my life. Enter my life. Power of God to disgrace all the works of the devil. Enter my life. Enter my life. Enter my life. Enter my family. Enter my life. Power of God to disgrace all the works of the devil. Enter my life. Enter my life. In Jesus' name, we are praising spirit of error that we make the enemies to shame me. Spirit of error, that we make the enemies to shame me. Deep Depart from my life. Depart from my life. Depart from my life. Thou spirit of error that will make the enemies to shame us. Depart. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, enemies of my peace, terrorizing my life with fear. Enemies of my peace, terrorizing my life with fear. Wherever you are, die. Yeah, yeah, open your mouth and pray. Enemies of my peace, terrorizing my life with fear. Wherever you are, da, 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 da. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my father, my father, my father. I need your power in my life. Give me power. Give me. Bible says, I give unto you power. The power of God in your life is for a purpose to tread to trample upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over every works of the devil. Beloved, as a powerful person, you don't speak too much. As a powerful person in God, you are supposed to be man and woman of action. You demonstrate more of God, and you speak less. That means you get yourself tuned in to the realm of prayers. That's why I want you to pray for that power. Power that you appear, that nobody will be able to decode who you are. 
they will not be able to discern what you're about to do. Say, power of God, power of God, power of God, power of God, power of God. My life is available. Enter me, enter me, enter me, enter me, enter me, enter me. Power of God, my children's life, my family, we are available. Enter us, enter us, enter us, enter us. Power of God, our lives are available. Enter us, enter us, enter in Jesus' name. We are praying. Lastly, you will pray with that power. Say, by the authority of God in my life, I trample upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over every works of the devil. By the authority and power of God in my life, by the authority and the move of God in my life, I trample upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over every works of the devil. In and around me, I trample upon you. I trample upon you, upon my Goliath, upon every posters, upon the enemies of God. In and around me, I trample upon them. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Great and mighty Father, we bless you for what you have done. We thank you, Lord, for the move of your power tonight. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, from tonight, we decree and we declare that all the days of our life, that the Lord will be our strength in the name of Jesus. And every battles that the enemies are throwing at us, or any battles that will come against us physically and spiritually, because God is in our lives, those battles shall be won by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Lord God Almighty will give you victory over every battles of life. The Lord God Almighty will silence every boasters in your families that are raging against you in the name of Jesus. As the Lord God Almighty disgraced Goliath openly, all your enemies shall receive open disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, I congratulate you. I congratulate you. You're asking me why? It's because you are here tonight and you have joined your faith with God and God has given you his power to win the battles of life. From tonight, every day of your life, be confessing that Psalm 27 verse 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? That every time you confess it, whenever the enemies are coming, the Lord will honor that word in your life. See, this my son, this my daughter has confessed that the Lord is the strength of his or life, that he shall not be afraid. Therefore, I must rise up and defend it. God will defend you. God will defend his interest in your life. God will defend his word in you in the name of Jesus. If the platform is a blessing to you, beloved, share the good news. Let the whole world know that we serve a living God that has a power to defeat all other powers. We have our videos on YouTube, Reality Christian Center channel. And on our website, www.thepathofrighteous.com and every day live on this platform from 6 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Remember, beloved, that you and I are sons and daughters of the Most High God, created in the image of God and endowed with power to shame the devil, endowed with power to have dominion, endowed with power to mount up with things like the eagle and to reign. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Till we meet tomorrow. Enjoy the blessings of tonight. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. I shall share the gospel till we meet tomorrow. Bye.